more than a dozen Russian journalists have been killed during the term of President Putin. The latest of them, Anna Politkovskaya, had repeatedly lambasted Russia for committing numerous war crimes in Chechnya, denouncing Vladimir Putin personally for crushing liberty. While the world pretends that Russia's democratic show is real, there is a lot of evidence that it has moved towards autocracy and few signs of real democracy survive. Anna Politkovskaya was one of the toughest critics of the current state of things here in Russia and the situation in the North Caucasus. She revealed a lot of crimes in which both pro-Moscow Chechen armed forces and federal agents were involved. None of us can feel secure under the current regime. Chechnya has become an absolute form of a totalitarian regime with this young dictator uh, who has become the nightmare for all the civilian population with uh, his absolute power, which is based on their full support from the Kremlin. Chechnya nowadays is uh, more like a silent grave from which it's very difficult to hear any open voice. People in Chechnya, without any exception, are afraid even to pronounce the name of this notorious acting president of Ramzan Kadyrov. What is worse, their situation is very difficult because the lack or shortage of interest because of this not so popular conflict on the international level. The continuous attempts of the Russian authorities to silence the situation in Chechnya. It's necessary for them in order to prove the world that we deal with the post-conflict situation and the only help that Chechnya needs now is big investments into the restoration of its economy. It's nothing but a farce because uh, even the Grozny, which is under declared reconstruction now, is more like a Potemkin village with uh, brightly decorated facades, but people living without water and uh, the population being absolutely poor. 80% of the population in Chechnya are without jobs and the only group of people that receive big money there are those who serve for Ramzan Kadyrov and for Moscow. After American invasion into Iraq, Iraq has become the focus point for the international media. More often we hear about popular and not so popular conflicts. Chechnya has become less fashionable, so to say and it has disappeared from the front pages of such outspoken newspapers as Washington Post, New York Times and The Independent. But at the same time, it's very difficult for foreign journalists to get access to Chechnya. They need to get accreditation from the foreign office, they need to get a convoy. You see, it's a real mockery to expect that people who became victims of uh, human rights abuses and war crimes would uh, speak openly to foreign journalists when they are surrounded with the Russian military.